And don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello there. All right, watch the movie Dish 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 Dishyam Dishyam Dishyam. Um, yeah, I. It, it's the the mystery that I, I did a trailer reaction to. Um, with uh, Ajay Ajay. I need to learn his last name. Ajay. So this movie, I, I kind of figured what it, where it was going. They look down on Ajay's character because he's a fourth grade dropout. He's literate, can't read himself, and he's not well educated. However, he's a film aficionado. He learned four languages just watching off movies. He spends all his time just watching film. So I immediately liked his character. And then immediately, like every time there's something, he starts correlating it with movies and things like he has learned from like courtroom dramas, from like mystery movies, from like how do I do this where no one can find out? Or how do I assist this person? How do I illegally assist this person so that way they can get, have file complaints and things like that against the officers and very smart because he's not very well read, very well viewed, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, because yeah, a lot of people are considered very well read when they are well spoken, when they just, you know, well read people are well read people. They read all the time and you can normally tell because they're well educated because they've educated themselves basically. They learn a lot because they learn a lot. This person is well versed because he's learned it all off of movies. Yeah, and it was fun watching him cr uh, critique, I, I think it was Black Hat. A Chris Pine movie where he's talking about the editing and everything's too fast paced. I was like, good, I'm not the only one that complains about the simplest things. So I liked his character immediately from the beginning. Yeah, but I liked how it was basically a family driven film. The whole thing that a family comes together for everything. And honestly, for a second, I was like, maybe they're just pretending to be a good family. Because when they introduced that the, the daughter was adopted and I'm like, Maybe there's another side story there. No, no, they're just a genuinely good family that cares for each other. And they happened to kill off someone who was trying to blackmail and rape the daughter. So, yeah, darn right you take care of them and you let the everyone else suffer. You d we are in the right there. You self-defended. Literally, you could have rep the only thing they could have done right, of course, that's here in the States, if they would have reported it, the fact that he's there... He had a picture or a video. He was on their property, literally. It's just, he's parked off behind the, the grounds. Of course, someone could have said that they were invited, but at the same time, there's no record other than the fact that he tracked her down. And it's just like, yeah, you know what's... So that's the only thing they could have done differently, they could have thought about. But other than that, I absolutely love the movie. I absolutely did enjoy the movie. And it does run a little long, because it, it, the pacing's a little slower just to keep you feeling like things are taking longer to get there, which is works. But at the same time, it feels like it runs much longer. I thought it was like a three hour film. I was like, oh, it's just a two hour and 10 minutes movie. <laughs> two hour and 10 minutes. Before, it's funny. I've gotten to the point where like three hours is nothing because I've seen so many Indian films now and they're all run from like two and a half to three hours, something maybe a little longer. Yeah, so it's, it's become normal for me. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, I, I, another movie that I actually really did enjoy. Thank you all for watching. Talk to you next time. Doodles.